Yeah. I've always loved your performance. Thank you so much. Do you remember when I first commented on your performance? Yes. Garden City Rooftop. Yes. Hmm? There was an event and uh, I think they were awarding me something woman something yes. by Airtel, I think. Yeah. Remember that event they used to do on Women's Day? Yes. Yes. Remember? Yes, yes. Even Jackie was yes, there. Jackie. There was a couple of people. And then you got on stage. Yeah. I think that was the event. But I remember it was Garden City yeah. Rooftop. And I was with Laura, my sister. Yeah, I know her. Of course, I'd always known that, you know, at that time you had started doing yeah, your music thing. Yeah. But I'd not seen you on stage. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw you on stage. I said, this girl is a monster on stage. Like, your energy, <sighs> your your ability to connect with it. Like, you know what to do, when to do it. Yeah. And that's what an artist is. You know how to connect with the audience. Yeah. Some people think being a good performer is jumping up and down with no. so much energy no. and, and, and shaking the mic. That's very and, true. Uh -uh. No. It's, it's, very it's the true. chemistry it's the and you have that. Yeah. And Thank I just want to so tell much. you I appreciate that. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Guys, Juliana said you had you had. <laughs> so tell me. Honestly, I'm a fan. That's why I'm Thank here now. Babe. I'm weird because I can't believe you're Thank seated you. here. I watched you for a long time. You're like the ladies that paved way for us. You, Irene, you know, we really appreciate you. I remember in Obsessions, you'd come there and me yeah. and just watching you. Yeah. used to talk to Ronnie yeah. and you don't even remember, but I watched you because Sharon was crazy about you, so I wouldn't overshadow Sharon's love. So Aww. I just sat behind, I was like watching you and you looked exactly how you're still looking. Wow. Can you believe? I want thank to God. age like you. Seriously. I, I thank God for that. Seriously. You. I'm sure you will. Yeah, I saw your mom. I'm sure you yeah. will. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so, true. Shiba, your thank you journey, so much for that comment, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too for yeah. the love. Your journey has been. It's been long because I I remember uh, like you said I first met you at Obsession. Yes, yeah. when you were dancing. Yeah, and right now you are at the top of your game as a female artist. I would like to think so. Please. Yeah. Um, Take it and embrace it because you are Amen. at the top of your game. Amen. But Amen. tell me about your journey. What's it been like mm. musically? Uh, Let's start with the highs. The highs, um, the highs in music for me, it was when people actually, I worked hard to an extent when people started believing in me. I saw them not believing me mm. and then I watched them start believing in me and then the journey where they're now obsessed with me. For me, that's my high. I've watched people doubt me, then like me, then mm -hmm. fall in love with me, then really get obsessed with me. I love that. Mm -hmm. I loved how it came from, no, you're not going to do this. No, you don't think you can do this too. Okay. Okay, she's exciting to, oh my God, I love this oh, chick. She's oh my God, oh my gosh, she's here. I loved watching it because I don't feel like I escaped any any ladder or any stage. I went through it, but it was painful, of course, because I yeah. started when I'm 15 as a dancer. Mm. I left home at 15, um, started dancing at 16. I joined a group called Stingers. So okay. uh, in 2006, mm. so they used to back up our obsessions every time they wanted extras for the National Theatre plays. Mm. in December. Mm. So they called Stingers and I had just joined them. So we went there and I was super excited because it was every girl's dream to watch these girls or work with them because okay. it was everything, you know. Mm. For me as a performer, I was like, oh my God, these girls are living a dream. They're always dressing sexily, they are dancing. For me, it was, it was never about the singing, I'm going to be honest, mm. in the beginning. Now, nah, it was dance. I wanted to really? dance. Yeah, even my friend Angel, um, who taught me how to dance, uh, she's been my friend for like, 12 years now. Mm. She, she's done with it, dances who is on stage every time with me sometimes when I'm dancing. Okay. She is in my video, um, uh, Akuse, the person mm. acting. Okay. Yeah, so she told me, I cannot believe you now love singing because you, your dream was to dance and then go dance for Beyonce. That was your goal. And then I joined Obsessions. Mm -hmm. But actually, I went to Dance for Obsessions mm. for just December. Then we went back to our karaoke days okay. of performing every night, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So they call me back, Ronnie Molindo, he's like, hey, um, Cleo is leaving. Uh, we want a replacement and we think you, 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 you can do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, mm, me? <laughs> With those girls? And they were all skinny. And I had little calves because I was trying to have beautiful skin. calves. But at that time, I wasn't really comfortable in my skin, honestly speaking. I was young. I didn't know what beautiful was and what sexy is. All I knew was, if you don't look like Sharon or you don't look like Brenda, 
you probably know it. That's ah. what I had because those were the it girls at that time. I didn't know that everyone can be comfortable in their own skins. It mm. takes some time to grow into that. Yeah. So I joined and these girls are flawless and I've been watching them. It, and then in, at first it was your karaoke girl. Mm. You didn't work for this. You're just joining after you're, you're, you're getting all the glory, just you're finding everything done. done. And then now you just want to stand on stage with us. Mm. And it was like that for like a whole yeah. And the whole time I was there, it was, I would feel it. And I didn't blame them because I understood. But because I was 16, still 17, I was a little delicate. Mm. I didn't. So I kept to myself more at that time because I didn't know what to do, what to say. But they would try and come in there, oh, we can give you this. They tried to make me up because my face was so young. I'd go on stage and then get off stage. Then I feel like I got lost. I didn't do what I'm supposed to do. It was so hard for me to fit in. It's been a journey of self-confidence building all my life. Wow. Yeah. And yet, you know, when we look at you on stage, you look I'm, like I'm the so most confident. confident girl I've ever seen. I am. I, I, I have worked. Yeah. As a female artist who's been in showbiz for a while, yeah. there's something I've experienced that I'm sure you're very familiar with. Yeah. Social media bullies. Oof. People who come on there and think they can <sighs> say whatever they want, and even when they don't know what the hell they're talking, they're talking about. about. It's sad. How does that make you feel? Sad. And how do you, do you even react to it? Rarely. Because okay. I'm not the kind to react because the, the more I react, I'm going to give you more of my time and my exactly. energy. So sometimes I'm like, you know what? You're not worth it. You're going Already to give them the energy, credibility yeah. they don't even deserve. Exactly. So every time I want to type, unless someone really disrespects someone, I know. For me, when it comes to me, it's okay. But go for my sister, go for my mother. You're not tipping me off. Because yep. Yep. for me, it's okay. I chose this. My mother didn't. My sister didn't. So they don't deserve it. They don't deserve this harshness. Yes. Me, I've been in the media. I chose it. However much I don't deserve it, mm. I chose it. It's part of it. It comes with it. And isn't it funny that... Women. You find someone, one time I went on social media and I found someone saying, mm. I wish you'd die. Wow. Or I wish you, mm. when you, when you, if you ever give birth, <laughs> your child dies in your hands. Yeah. Like, like mm. some things mm. are so painful. I've mm. never given birth, but I looked at the comment, I called all of my friends. I'm like, why would someone even say this? Yes, yes. You don't know me? You've We've never, never met. met. I've, why I've, are you angry at me? I've never done anything to, to you. you. Yeah. These people actually harass you. They want to harass you into hating your job, into feeling bad about yourself. Because sometimes I go on these people's pages and I click on their <laughs> profiles, honestly. <laughs> and I'm like, I know okay. why you're mad. Yes. I know, sis. I'll leave. I forgive you. I'll leave this here. God loves you. God loves you. <laughs> God bless you. I know why you're mad. You're, you're, you're probably in your late 30s or something, but you've not done anything for your life. And yeah. now you're so mad at a 28-year-old targeting goals and making moves. Yeah. I get it. Then others, they're so mad for things you don't know. People find me with basic friends. Me, I have the most basic friends. You find yeah. me with a pharmacist as my friend. You find me with my best friend who is a manager in some normal company. I love normal people because we're going to talk about normal things, normal mm. situations with real problems. Yes. Not trying to talk about how nice our shoes are and when are we changing our wigs. And aren't we tired of, of that talk? That's mm. why it's a man's world. Yeah. That's why it's a man's world. They want to respect us, yes. but we're not respecting ourselves mm -hmm. too. True. That's just another thing. No offense. You know, we are not. All we want is look good. Mm. I look good because it's my job. You look good because it's your job. You have to wake up in the morning. But mm. you have times when all that doesn't matter. And you just want to You're be you. You just want to be you. are concentrating on a real problem. Your mother yes. called. There is a situation. There's, there is a real problem where there's someone losing a child. There's someone losing a mother more than makeup. Mm. So for me, I feel like we should consider think, going back to think about the real issues yeah. than the whole how do I when did I take a picture when did I last post can I go to which hotel to look good for these beautiful pictures yeah how about we're gonna age and we've done nothing in our beautiful for age you know That's true. yeah um talking about the hustle yeah you work very hard Shiba I do and I love that I do thank you so much what are some of those challenges you faced as a woman mm. in the music industry in in, in your game as a woman first of all it's a man's world it's very disrespectful mm. 
just even to get your point across, mm -hmm. they feel like you're a woman. What, what are, are you, you talking saying? about? What do you even know? So for me, it has been that all my damn life I have to push, I have to work extremely hard yeah. to prove that I'm not just a woman. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a woman, but I can do what a man does because we are all human and we are equal. For me, that's what I believe. But you enter someone's office and you have a proposal and it's a business proposal <laughs> and for you you really 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 put time and, and, and put together and thought into this and mind and passion and this person did not even hear one thing about anything you said and he's like looking at just you. looking at you and they're like She's so cute. you're cute <laughs> can we have dinner can we have and i know and, i and, know, and, so know they think it's flattering for for us but it's not it's actually insulting. It's, it's insulting to women, most especially. We are different. Some women, it's very insulting. I'm in your office. I came for business. Please treat me like that. Exactly. Because if it was a man, mm. you wouldn't be checking out his ass. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You'd be actually listening. You'd be listening. You know, so that's the thing that hurts me. I wish they could just give us the same platform yeah. they give it to men. Just mm. the ear. Just mm. respect us enough to even listen. Yeah. But you find um, in meetings and it's a company and a woman is the MD, but somehow, somewhere, she's not speaking. She doesn't the want men. to listen. She, she wants no. to listen to the man yeah. you've to come the, with. Yeah. The, the male on the, the male team. The male on the team. I've experienced and that. So, yeah. so do you have a male <laughs> on the team? <laughs> Why? Let me tell you something. There was a, there's a time we had a gig and... Um, there was going to be two artists, me and another male artist, yeah. I won't say. Yeah. So when my manager went to meet them to negotiate the prices and all that stuff and yeah. book, confirm bookings yeah. and stuff, he told them, they asked, so um, how much is uh, your service going to be? Da, yes. da, da. So my manager tells him, oh, this is what we work for. Yeah. And the first thing this guy says is like, I can't pay that chick that amount. He did not call me by name. He said chick. Chick. I said, I can't pay that chick that amount. After I've paid so and so that amount, and then I pay her the same. I've had that too. You know, it's, it's just it's insulting. so it's interesting how much people think because we are women, yeah, we, we deserve less, less. And yet we work just as much, if not more. If more. If I was going to say, to be where I am, I had to work way more than any man. Exactly. We work harder to prove ourselves. We do. We do. We do it in heels. We have to take care of our children. Some of us are wives. I know. And yet you have I to know. deliver a I product know. that's just as good as the male artist. Meaning we, we work just wake up in double. the morning. They have wives mm. who iron their clothes, oh, yeah. who prepared everything. They come back home and the meal and, is and done. And the meal is done. <laughs> the, bed is late. the bed is late. But that is all for the woman. And then yeah. after the woman these days has to look for themselves food. Yeah. Hair, because these days apparently they just want to be men still, but not responsible enough to take care of the women. Yeah. But you have to look good because I might just leave you. There's so many nice looking girls out there, but I'm not going to help you when it comes to how you're going to do it. I would read an article mm. and they're talking about an achievement, but then you see that the crate is going somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else. Yeah. Um, I remember when I bought my home, which I'm living in now. Yeah. Oh. I bought that house with my hard-earned money back then in, uh, I think I just released Abikoa, the yeah. album. It was around 2006, 2007. I mean, that's how long it's taken me to <laughs> build it and finish yeah. it. Because, you know, you are it's a company. It's not But I remember Chimani. during the process as I was building, mm. some journalists from a media house came and climbed over the wall. And so pictures. disrespectful. Anna. And took pictures of my house and took it in the papers and said, um, Juliana, Msaja. Omsaja. Omsaja. See, just Msaja, they said, someone in the army. Over who? Over who? Bambi, me. Mbu. An army guy had bought the house for me and was building it for me. Do you know how painful that is? I was is? so insulted. I know. Because I know. I know. How hard I've worked I to get know. that money. I hear you. I know where it comes I from know. for me to buy the bricks and the cement and the and you come and give the credit, the credit to, some to someone. Man. I don't, don't even, even know. know. A man, I don't even know. So for me, I've, I've always wondered that why it has Have it has you? happened to me so much. Okay. Actually, for me, everything I get somehow it's not my credit. Most of the times, it's. 
there is a man behind my back building for me there is a man giving me all the money to do all these videos ataka sokola nawe ataka tukali nam alwa msajja katika mezi center zona zona but they forget one thing i'm on the road 24/7 what am i doing Exactly, and where are you putting your money? Where am I putting my money? One time I had one of the MCs, one of the biggest MCs, arguing with my manager at Short Twesana, and he's like, no, she cannot be the one who did the video. You mean even the concept? You mean even the clothes? You're lying, Jeff, you're the one who gave her those things. He's like, I didn't even, the man didn't even step at the video shoot. Mm -hmm. It was all me. But I've just done ice cream, a masterpiece. Yes, uh, They forgot I was alone when it comes to that. Yeah. Everyone is throwing a stone. Mm. But before, nobody cared. Everyone was like, Why do they all think that is, where, that is the end game? That's the end game for a woman here. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with getting married. No, no, but it's not the end game. It's not the end I game. hear you. There's, there's something bigger than just getting married. I know. Beyonce is married. But guess she's what? Beyonce. She is Beyonce. For me, so at I'm the end of the day, you're going to get married. Yes. You want to get married to a man who's going to continue to celebrate who you are. Yes. And not try to water down your And the men we the have in this city, are. they are not so comfortable with themselves to stand a powerful woman. That's another thing. Very insecure. Very insecure. I've experienced that. Yeah. yeah. They look at you. For me, I tell people I can take a whole year and another year with no man telling me a thing. Yeah. And they think, why? The girls are like, don't you feel bad? I'm like, no. I feel good. Because I know they know you can't just walk. For any reason you have in your head, thank God you, don't, you can't just walk mm. and come and say, hey, can I take you out? What are you going to do for me? I think what's very important mm -hmm. is whether you decide to get married at the or end of no. the day or settle down, yeah. it should be a man who, that can empower you. Who's going to continue empowering yeah. you. If you found me here, you should be the kind of man who's going to take me now. Here. When God gave me this talent, I guess he knew what he was doing. Yes. Because once dad passed, yes. I actually became the breadwinner at home. You know, I raised my, my I'm literally my, my sister's second mom. That's oh. what she calls me. Because, you know, yeah. she was, I think, in yeah. primary. Yeah. And from, from high school to university, that was all me. And then I had my mother. I had my home. I had myself to take care of. So by the time I made 2025, 20, yes. trust me as a hustler. An independent woman. So when a guy comes from nowhere and tells me, ah, "Why don't you sit down? I'll, I'll take care of you." I know. What are you? What, what are you? Saying? What? Are you, what? what? <laughs> um, the thing about even us independent women is, yeah, if you know how to make money, you cannot take disrespect. People think, yeah. I my my standards are so high, yes. or my expectations are so high. Well, guess what? They are. Why? I made the woman I am today. Yeah. On a lighter note. Yes. Um, Throughout your journey, yeah, um, I'm sure there are people you know that have, that have had your back, like we've been saying, yeah. that have been there for you, yeah. that have supported you, yes. that have done maybe something tremendous in your life that you'll yeah. never forget, that yeah. has helped you move from place A to place B. Yeah. Which women in your career and in your life would you give credit to for that? My mother, yeah. because I've watched her raise six children five has one a cousin of ours mm. from i don't know how she managed to do it but she didn't have a basic job that can even pay one million a month no she she used to work on in coffee factories mm. two thousand three thousand and she has five kids she reminded me on idi i went to see her and I, I was asking her remember that house they were they looked you out and i was so young she didn't know that i remembered i was so young but because me i would sit in one place and watch everything i'm the last born mm. So I saw her break down, they looked down the, the, the room, everything is out, she's crying, give me two days, and it broke my heart. I was so young, but it broke. I was like, if I grow up, I'm gonna leave this place and try never to see my mother in this situation again. again. Yes. Because I saw her kneeling down, begging another man, which is not right. It is not right, you're not God. I felt so, so bad because that's my mother, you know. But I reminded her, and she was, I asked her, how much was it? She's like, it was 8,000. 8,000, Juliana. And my mom was out and nobody cared. That's why for me it's all about her and that small family she grew up with me, my, my siblings. Yeah. That's it. And then she told me how you can't give up on your children because you don't have a big job. You can't give up on your, your family because your husband is not there. Yeah. She, she didn't have a husband because her husband passed away, mm. the one she got married to. Sorry. Me, I'm alone, I came from a different person, drama. Mm. But she took all that in, she 
is one of the strongest. No, she's one of the strongest women because when I grew up, I was 18, she told me one of the things she kept so much to her heart, I never even knew, and I broke down. Recently, it was out because my, I have my other father that died, my, my biological father, who was never there at any any time. I've never even seen him anywhere, but he was alive. And then when he died, they all came up. And then they want to say, oh, she doesn't even care. She didn't even come to bury. Mm -hmm. And social media buried me. And they don't even know anything. They know how to do that They so don't well. even know a thing about a story about that. They don't know the pain that man had caused my mother. They don't know the pain that man caused me as a child. They don't know the pain or the person I became because of that man. Everything I am today is because of that person. Because I woke up, I, I grew up looking at my mother, and now when I was 18, yeah. I found out why she had to go through everything she had to go through. It was still that man, but mm. they don't know all that. Mm. They don't know any seed, but I saw them calling me all kinds of names. Your cast, his cast. That's why the girl is cast. Her father doesn't like her, your father will. What do you know about this man? If I sat you down and told you everything about him, would you still say what you're saying? No. Why are you saying it before you even know the story? But Which I have to why take it in. The best thing is to always. Me, I've always told people keep silence quiet. is golden. It's the best. I keep quiet. And newspapers, that's when they are people? calling you because they want a story to blow up. Uh -uh. They love it when they are prolonging the story. Uh -uh. Oh, she said this. Uh -uh. And then after the mom said, they got the audacity to follow my mom to the village. She is 63. You think she wants to go through this? I chose this. That hurt me. Mm. You know? She, they followed her to where she was burying that man. And she didn't even tell me he died. She told me a day after she buried him because mm. she knows exactly where she I stand. Knows, yeah. She didn't bother. She called me to just tell me about it and she called me to tell me, I think newspapers followed me. And I was saying these things. She said things that are personal thinking. She's talking to clan mates. Oh my God. And then the next thing I knew, my mother was recorded and was being played on TV and every social media platform. That is the most painful thing I've ever seen media do to me because that's my mother. She's 63. She doesn't know this life. That's why I keep her so away from them. The one time I brought her was my lunch. Yes. And now I don't think I can ever even bring her because I feel like they're going to kill her. Hold her down. And yes. Yeah. There, there are times I wake up in the morning and I want to give up. And that's one of them. That is days. familiar. Yes. Yeah. Very familiar. And I'm like, why am I causing my mother all this pain? Is it because mm -hmm. of this, this, this stage? That can I just shut down everything? Go back to my mother? Mm -hmm. Become the same girl I used to be? Mm -hmm. And then I snap back after two days. I remember why I, it all started. Exactly. And then I go back. Any other So woman? my mother and my one. best friend. And your best friend? Mariam. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about your best friend. My best friend is my cousin. Uh -huh. um, and but we even forget we are related because it's not even the point at okay. all. Even the families know. Yeah. We we we're not into the whole. It's not because we are family. It's it's a bond. She understands me. She's the person who will watch me in a crowd and I'm smiling, but I'm crying. But she knows I'm crying, and she is the only person who can come and say, "Let's go." You are so sad. I know those best friends where you yeah. sit across the yeah. table. Yeah. And you and just look at each other. And you know and exactly what you're like, thinking. Yeah. And I'm yes. smiling and, and then she texts me. She's like, I'm going to pick you up from that yeah. place. And mm. we go, you want to cry and you're going to cry in mm. public. And before I know that I'm going to cry, mm. she knows. She knows when something is deeply painful. Yeah. She's the only person. Because everybody thinks I'm too strong. So I can take everything. Yes, yeah. I am. But I'm human. Mm. I break down. Sometimes mm. I really break down. But because I'm... I'm so independent, I don't get to talk about so many things because at the end of the day, some people you're talking to them but they just want to listen to the story. Yeah. So I decide to just shut it down. Mm. And there is even listening to me but you're not understanding where I'm coming from. Yeah. It's also useless. So my, my sister is always busy too, so I, I, I tuck it in a lot until I see her and then when I see her, it's not the same. I'm like, ah, whatever, I was like this, but it's okay. Yeah. Unless when she's there, she will cry with me. I, I love people who cry with me because I don't want people who just rejoice with me. What's the point? How about my pain? When I'm in pain, where are you? Yeah. You know, because when you're in pain, that's when you most need somebody. So if someone isn't there for you, that's not your, your best friend. So my best friend is another woman and she was there when all this was starting. She was my manager in the beginning. Oh, yeah. how nice. Yeah. And so in a nutshell, Shifa. Yeah. There's many girls out there who love you. I've seen some of them. Yeah. Some of them are as young as six, 
or yeah. find them singing your songs. Yeah. The girl who wants to be like Shiba. Yeah. What would you tell her um. in a few words? What would you tell her and 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 I want you to think about it because I don't want you to tell her only the nice things. Yeah. Tell her something that will prepare her for both the highs and the lows. What would you tell her? Some days are going to be so bad. That's mm -hmm. the one thing I'm going to tell her. Yeah. They're going to be so bad that you feel like you can't keep Go going. On. You just want to give up. And it's normal. Yeah. It is so normal to feel like no one understands you because me, I've suffered being misunderstood and it's another misery because you feel like nobody understands you and it's sad. Yes. So another thing is you need to understand that even if people don't understand you, you have to keep trying so that one time at least one person or two yeah. people yeah. understand you because those that understand you might actually help you. You know, because if you keep it to yourself 24-7, yeah. they might never be able to help you. I, I, I have my walls up, mm. but I have people I let in and I trust them to guide me because I need to learn. Yeah. I don't know much. You know, I'm still learning you because, learn every day. yes, I'm like, I met Jeff and he's so experienced about the music industry and all that. And I was so raw. So he would, he's, he's, he's tough love mm. but I still appreciate it because it's not going to sugarcoat everything it's like we're going back to studio to do that again because it didn't sound right I go back and sometimes I cry because sometimes it hurts not to <laughs> accept what you did you know it's just painful you're like ah, I really did this I thought you'd like it it's like no it's bullshit take it back take it back but it's you need nice. someone like that exactly that's what I'm saying so you need to trust certain people to teach you yes that's just another thing because yeah. for me I knew some things but not everything just yeah. like everybody even now I know some things some things I handle them well mm -hmm. some things I don't know how to handle them I yeah. course other people like Jeff I'm like well what am I supposed to do now mm -hmm. he's like don't do anything I'll do this or try and do this mm -hmm. because I'm not perfect I'm not the most intelligent person in the world so everyone needs help every so each and every day I need someone to teach me slowly True. then another yeah. thing is patience yeah for me that's my strength my patience mm. I'm very patient because I know things don't just happen yeah things take time mm. to happen mm. um, I'm seeing girls right now trying to speed life running through life mm. and it's sad because I know that nobody's gonna tell them but it doesn't work because if you run through life you don't learn anything you want to rush to reach so you don't even care to look where you're going you're yeah. just running to reach but they need to take one step at a time mm. so that they learn from their mistakes and mistakes are beautiful because you'll never learn unless you make these mistakes yeah. mm. then another thing is pray prayer praying mm. yes for me it has gotten me through a lot because sometimes this industry is so draining i just go love myself and i'm not i'm not saying go to church most i'm not like that i don't go i'm not religious I have my personal relationship with God. Mm. I lock my room. I just sit. If I'm sad, I talk to him as a sad person. Like, please God, help me go through this. I don't know how I'm going to survive, but I'm in pain because of this and this and this. Help me through it. Direct me. Guide me. So prayer is very beautiful. Even when I'm so going important. to do a show, I'm like, please God, help me. Because we're performing in hills. You can yes. break a, a leg. Oh. You can fall. Someone, mm. People throw bottles. It's, it's, our job is very, very risky. Mm. And our security is not that good mm. you know let's be honest so all that pray a lot mm. trust some people to teach you because you cannot be the one to know each and everything and then um, three be patient because things don't happen then four my dear resilience yes. keep going keep going, keep going. No me for me what. I can't stop I can't stop Keep going. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Having you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Shiba. This was like a chat. I know. You right? almost made me cry. That was you wow. made me cry. Eh? You almost made me cry. There's, like, there's a part where you're talking, talking mom about my, my mom. I think because I I'm so emotional. comfortable with you, I never talk about my mother's side. I'm like, I shut it down. But because I was, I was talking to you, because, and I, I feel like you know, you know, you've I been know through it all. I, mean. I, I know you understand. And it's so good, like I said, to talk to someone who can understand you. Who understands. Yeah. Feels your pain just yeah. the way you yeah. feel it because they've been through it. Yeah. Because honestly, these days, um, they call me for interviews and I say, no, I don't go on TV anymore. Mm. For like two years now, 
I'll go there when I have a show to advertise. Why? Because they're going to ask me the normal things. things that are sometimes are you dating? Irrelevant. 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 Are you dating? How is that relevant? Or things they've asked you over and over. Over and over. And they never know your pain. They never. They just want to see you smiling 24-7. Who am I? An angel? I'm, yeah. I'm human. Yeah. Ask for ask my pain. Talk yeah. about my journey. I love this. I loved it. I loved it so much. And I'm proud of you, <laughs> as always. Thank you so much. You have done a wonderful job. That and I know you're still going higher. From you means a lot to me. And I know that God will bless you. And thank you. you so much for paving way for us. Aww. And this new thing that you're doing, mm -hmm. I love it. Thank I you, love darling. it. At least we get to talk to people that understand the journey. We get to talk to each other. Each other and we know. understand each other. We feel each other's pain. be innovative and work so hard she has to first of all embrace the technique because you see in dance mm. most people are forging okay and there is what they call mainstream and then you know like mainstream is commercial you know like the shaku you know those things that you know that are like just like you know yeah. very catchy but you know it's nice to learn technique like the hip-hop technique contemporary traditional african dances have technique you yes. cannot forge because they've been passed on from generation to generation. Yes.